Stephen Ray couldn't be here in person tonight, though he wanted to be, uh, but he has filmed a reading of part of Butcher's Dozen for us. Stephen Ray. I'm going to read Butcher's Dozen by Thomas Kinsler, a very beautiful poem about uh, the events in Derry of 50 years ago in Bloody Sunday when 13 people were killed. Now, Kinsler himself says uh, Butcher's Dozen was not written in response to the shooting of those 13 people. It was written in response to the Widgery Report, which uh, put aside the truth um, and uh, dressed up prejudice as justice. But I can never read this poem without uh, feeling the powerful, empathetic emotion of Kinsler for the 13 people. I went with anger at my heel through bog side of the bitter zeal. Jesus pity on a day of cold and drizzle and decay. A month had passed, yet there remained a murder smell that stung and stained. On flats and alleys, over all it hung, on battered roof and wall, on wreck and rubbish scattered thick, on sullen steps and pitted brick. And when I came where thirteen died, it shriveled up my heart. I sighed and looked about that brutal place of rage and terror and disgrace. Then my moistened lips grew dry. I had heard an answering sigh. There in a ghostly pool of blood, a crumpled phantom hugged the mud. Once there lived a hooligan a pig came up and away he ran. Here lies one in blood and bones who lost his life for throwing stones. More voices rose. I turned and saw three corpses forming, red and raw, from dirt and stone. Each upturned face stared unseeing from its place. Behind this barrier, blighters three, we scrambled back and made to flee. The guns cried, stop, and here lie we. Then from left and right they came, more mangled corpses, bleeding, lame, holding their wounds. They chose their ground, ghost by ghost, without a sound, and one stepped forward, Soiled and white. A bomber, I. I travelled light. Four pounds of nails and jelly night about my person hid so well they seemed to vanish where I fell. When the bullets stopped my breath, a doctor sought the cause of death. He upped my shirt, undid my fly. Twice he moved my limbs or eye and noticed nothing. By and by, a soldier with his sharper eye beheld the four elusive rockets stuffed in my coat and trouser pockets. Yes, they must be strict with us, even in death so treacherous. He faded, and another said, We three met close when we were dead, into an armoured car they piled us, where our mingled blood defiled us, certain, if not dead before, to suffocate upon the floor. Careful bullets in the back stopped our terrorist attack, and so three dangerous lives are done, judged, condemned, and shamed in one. 
that spectre faded in his turn. A harsher stirred and spoke in scorn. The shame is theirs. In word and deed, who prate of justice, practice greed, and act in ignorant fury, then officers and gentlemen sent to their courts for the Most High to tell us, did we really die? Does it need recourse to law to tell 10,000 what they saw? The news is out. The troops were kind. Impartial justice has to find we'd be alive and well today if we had let them have their way. But friend and stranger, bride and brother, son and sister, father, mother, all not blinded by your smoke, photographers who caught your stroke, the priests that blessed our bodies spoke and wagged our blood in the world's face. The truth will out to your disgrace. <laughs>